I'm just getting ready to turn down Highway 441 and head straight into the middle of the Everglades, but I wanted to stop and show you guys this place right here at Yeehaw Junction. It's a pretty amazing historic area here in Central Florida. It's usually pretty busy, but and, and actually I've never been inside this place. But before we go in, look at this guy. Instead of waiting for the stoplight, oh no, he's parking right here next to me. Anyway, from what I understand, this place here, back in the 1930s and 1920s, was a brothel, the, uh, the place where the ladies of the evening work. The only brothel, or the very first brothel, I think it was, it, it's not the only one, it was the very first one in the state of Florida. They have a hotel, a restaurant, and all sorts of craziness. And from the looks of it, there's a museum. So I'm going to take you guys inside. Well, there were some other things I was supposed to tell you that I remember in my head. Oh, that's right. The head, what are they called? The head madam. The madam of this place when it was a brothel back in the day, back in the 1920s. I'll get more information as I get up there actually committed suicide in her room and hung herself and supposedly this place is extremely haunted lots of spectral activity within this building not only did she commit suicide in her bedroom, but whatever the french term for bedroom is in the hotel part uh there was a murder also so i know two people that have i don't know them personally but two people have perished within this premises and I know ghost hunter shows and stuff like that have been in here anyway I'm sure there's a historical marker I'll show you guys that and then we'll see if we can get inside and check out the bedroom where the madam committed suicide and kind of look around the museum let's go there it is right on a very busy intersection of highway 60 here in Central Florida lies the Desert Inn. Wrong, there is a historical marker. The Desert Inn was founded as a trading post in the late 1800s. The building dates before 1925 and served as a supply recreational center and for cattle drovers. Here, I'll take a screenshot and post it on social media. Would you look at this classic building? Oh my God, she's reincarnated, reincarnated as a hen. Hello. What? What is it? This guy here. Every time I turn away, he chases me. But when I walk towards him. He bolts. Another historical marker over here before we go inside. I was just talking to this guy here who runs his little business on the side. That's their back storage area. And yeah, we can go inside the bedroom of the madam of when this place was actually a brothel. And it looks like pretty much this is the same sign that is out front of the building. But in these hotel rooms, I believe, not there, one, two, I think it was like door number nine, door number nine, way over there. There was a murder, a murder. I believe it was, I, I got to do some Google researching on it because I believe it was like in the 1940s or 1950s. But this is a pretty amazing place. I guess the chickens, he told me the chickens were the mascot. You'd figure they'd have a jackass because that used to be the name of this place. But now it's just Yeehaw Junction. Which I think that's the sound a donkey makes anyway. Sound of a chicken. It was telling us about it. So we took over from her. She died four months later. So, so all the, like... All the good all, stuff's like gone. A, huh? All the good stuff's gone. No, I mean, so you can't, there's really nothing to take video of them in there. No, there really isn't. We're not, we're not supposed to bring anybody up because of a liability. Oh. Because it isn't open. 
It's been trashed, number one. Somebody broke in and set off fire extinguishers all over the place. Are you serious? Oh, yes. It's, it's trashed. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it does. That's, so a, they're that's a historic place. Yeah. They will come in. Um, after Bev died, she, she owned this building for like 30-something years. She's the one that had the house back here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like a mile down the street. Um, after she passed, she willed it to the historic society, and they are going to come in and clean it up and turn it back in. We just leased from that. But with all the artifacts, or like the picture on the wall and everything else, it's all ruined and gone. Uh, most of it. There's, that, oh, there's that like sucks. a few pictures like this up there. Nothing major anymore. The, the, the bed is still up there. Um, there's a few things, but now it's been trash. It's, it's really sad. It's very sad. That is bad. of your bar real fast because this <laughs> is pretty sorry. awesome. That's fine. And well, I hope that they open up pretty soon and good luck. Yeah, me too. They took over. It's been a little over a year, but they're trying to get um, funding. For and so what? But it's always been up there, so they don't supervise, or they don't say they don't know who goes up there, or did someone just break in? No. So the, the prior to the break in, where they put off the fire extinguishers, previous owners, disgruntled owners, had it out with the landlord. And they tore it up. Or whatever, and they stole stuff. As oh, they were. That, that was her story. That's what she said. She had it set up with antiques and things like that. And that well, let me support you guys anyway. You guys got, even though I, I know I can pick them up anytime, but Epcot screwed me yesterday, so I got extra money. Sell me a t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> when it opens, I guess. Yeah, that sounds great. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. That kind of sucks. This here is the stairs, anyway. You would go in, walk up the stairs to the oldest brothel in the state of Florida. But you can't do it anymore. Yeah, that kind of blows when people destroy historic things like that. What do I always do when I hit a roadside attraction or a decent restaurant? Thing, a thing that I said I would never do or I was going to try and stop doing... I bought a t-shirt, a Desert Inn t-shirt, established in 1880, check it out, that is pretty awesome, well, we made it back, there has been people on social networks like Google Plus and stuff that told me I need to come back to this place because supposedly they make one of the world's greatest cheeseburgers and french fries. So I'm going to go through a little bit more support to them because it is lunchtime. And if they have some of the world's best, I got to check it out. So we are back. Those rooms up there are part of the bordello. Brothel, bordello, is that the same thing? In the vein of showing the internet food. And that's a sweet tea. It's actually brewed right out there on that table. This is definitely a pretty good burger. I don't know what kind of bread that is, but I'm gonna stop here more often. Wow, definitely worth stopping for lunch. Let's go pay and I have a couple quick questions about a certain bell. Yeah, thank you. you. Yeah. That's a full AM starter. I'm telling you. Y'all through? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pay. Okay. Yeah, I, I got 30 minutes. Okay, real fast for the skeptics out there, which I am. Do you think this place is haunted? Yes, I know it is. Whoa. Well, I had a but, but I grew up in a haunted house. I do believe. I see, I don't. My husband doesn't believe. He thinks I'm nuts. I say, we'll be looking at the camera reviewing the night. I go, oh my God, there's an orb. Look up, sure enough, he goes, that's not an orb. It's dust. I went, no, it's not like a trail of dust. I said, no, it's a full orb. I was, I've been keeping the camera going because I had a friend here that said the bell rang once by itself when he was here. I'm not surprised. And then they went upstairs and had a weird feeling or got, got a weird smell of ladies perfume or something. That would be weird. Yeah. I'm not saying it's impossible, but that's... It's probably impossible. <laughs> 
How come no, everybody is using good. square? Even over here, they made they use oh, yeah, square. Just because it's easy, you can bring it to the table. It's that, it's that cheap. So give everybody a ghost story, quick. What happened to you here? Nothing. Said that's what I thought. I'm sorry. See, it's not hard. It is. I just it's a feeling. It's not anything in particular that happened. Whatever. That's the bell. Back. I gotta take her phone outside. <laughs> Can it go? Finally, yeah. It's good. Me, this hasn't happened in a long time. Custom tip amount. Did it. That's how they take their payments here. This place is pretty homey. I mean, I got the waitress's cell phone. Waiting for her to return so I can give it back. Pretty nice people here. We'll freak her out when she comes. I'm just messing with your phone. Don't no, do it's black. Don't do that. No. I left you a ten dollar tip on there. Thank I don't so know how much. you do it. How you get it, but Oh I get it automatically. At the end of the night I get it. I'll show you in a second. Oh. Oh, this is just You're gonna have to keep going every time you need to, you need to go out the front door to get signal. This is crazy. You just have to trust me. Oh, I do. Sure, you do. No, I do. Go. That wasn't. Still going on activity. Well, it went. I, I did it all. Sure it did. I'm not questioning that at all. If I just not, can't believe. If not, hunt me down. I'm not worried. I just can't get over this. You want me? Here, give me, I'll go stand outside with it. Then I'm going to go shoot video one more time. It's just scaring me, though. This is kind of... What is this? That's a chip reader if we need it. But... Oh, it, it already ran out. Yeah, no, no, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Sometimes if you put it near it, it helps it. That's all. I'm not worried about it. You want me to take it outside? No. Nah, because you're getting connection errors. That's crazy. You'll get... Oh, well. I'll, I'll see you later. I'm going to go get me something to drink. And, uh, over at the pilot. That is odd. Thank God. You would think that a business would have normal cell phone service. That I think that was prepaid, but... It all worked. I, I didn't steal anything. It all went through. Anyway, so, you know what she was telling me that I didn't catch on video was numerous deaths have happened here. And that's why she believes this place is haunted. Not only up these stairs behind that door, which was the original brothel in the state of Florida, over five people have perished up there. And over this way, I know I've already showed you this earlier before we went to pick up our load. There was a murder, a murder, right here, right here. Somebody was murdered right here. But I don't know the story, the whole story from it. I'm actually gonna do some Google and Wikipedia research on this place. But over here in room five, Seven. Oh, that door's opening just as we're approaching. Whoa. Okay, look at every step I take, it's opening. That is freaky. Somebody died in this room, actually. That's, that's, okay, this is weird. That is actually pretty strange. It just opened as I was walking closer. Somebody died in here in the 1920s. They burnt to death. That, this is odd. Anybody in there? 
Hello? 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 Okay, this is kind of creepy. You guys seen that, right? It was... That is strange. I might actually have to come here and spend the night. I've never seen any, I've never, ex that, I've never experienced anything like that before. That's weird. Okay. I'm gonna go show the video of that to the people inside here. I'll be right back. See you later. See ya. Bye. She freaked out. I'm gonna go shut the door. I'm gonna shut it. That was freaky. It freaked her out. But it, she wasn't really freaked out. She goes, yeah, she's heard stuff like that happening in the past. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that door. Make sure it's solidly shut. Okay, here we go. This. Yeah, that is strange. All right, well, it's time to get back to work, head back up to where I'm from, north of Orlando, and uh, take a quick shower, check on the kids, and I'm still, that's weird. It's not breezy, it's not windy, there's nothing going on here. It is totally hot, humid, and no breeze. That is just trippy. Anyway, I'm gonna go check on my daughter and probably have nightmares. And then <laughs> head up to Springfield, Ohio. I love you all. Peace out.